course, we are beaming straight from the Hollywood building at Zongo Junction, Medina. It's our pleasure to welcome you to our transmission bell today. And as usual, we kick off with the dialogue with me, Isaac Clote. Of course, today we'll be bringing you very interesting shows that include the national agenda, the news will be coming your way at midday, and of course, the mother of all talk shows, The Seat, will be on at 8 p.m. So ladies and gentlemen, you're once again welcome to the program. In a couple of moments, I'll be introducing my guests who will be helping me, or all of us, digest the topical um, issues on today's menu for discussion. The president yesterday addressed the nation in his 11th um, televised address on measures, con uh, on measures um, being unf uh, unfolded by the government to contain the spread of the COVID-19 uh, measures. Of course, this weekend, the New Patriotic Party heads to the polls to select its parliamentary candidates in non-often constituencies. These and many other issues will be on our menu today as we serve you breakfast of many issues. Right. Now let's take a look at the front and the back pages of the trending newspapers as assembled before us today. And of course, we kick off with a look at the new crusading guide. The truth about contractors trouble with Ghana first. Judgment debt looms for MMDAs as clean Ghana project contractors drag them into dirty deals with foreign investors. Four Fulani thieves grabbed. 60, st 60 steel 60 cattle and butcher eyewitness. Development key on my agenda, John Kuma promises. NLA and GRA set to launch VAT raffle. And CBTG projects uh, 200 million Ghana cities in tax revenue for 2020. KNUST KTU others disinfected. So these are the front page headlines for the new crusading guide. Next stop is the Chronicle newspaper, and on its front page newspaper, on its front page banner, we have Ivorian experience won't happen in Ghana. Jim Mensa assures TUC Ghanaians. I'll repeal public universities law in 2021. Mahama. Bizman hauls Rollins to court over Ridge property. Kufuado achievements will secure him a second term. GRE and LA to launch VAT raffle. It's another headline for the Chronicle. Next stop is the Daily Statesman, and we have our survivals. I have survival still in our own hands. President urges greater discipline after easing of COVID-19 restrictions. Equiapim South parliamentary aspirant wages war against Akufuado's government. NPP wants to deny foreigners the right to vote. Nketia intensifies campaign against EC. Turn your attention now is the Ghanaian Times, where on its front page we have COVID-19 update. Tertiary institutions reopen today as government airlifts distributes PPEs to schools nationwide. This, um, the issue of uh, tertiary schools and in general um, educational institutions reopening today formed a key part of yesterday, of the president's address yesterday. And together with my guest, we will be um, looking at that issue quite extensively. Varsities of education, Cape Coast to undergo fumigation disinfection by Zoom Lions. NLA GRE partner to conduct VAT raffle to enhance government revenue mobilization. Former President Mahama urges government to withdraw public universities bill, but government disagree. So what's at the back page of the Ghanaian Times? NGO distributes relief items to 1,300 headquarters in Accra. Action Aid supports 15,000 households 15 hospitals against COVID-19. 
The Daily Guide is next, as you can see on your screen. NDC set steps up anti-register games. Zoom Lion fights COVID-19 in Upper West. Chief prays for Mahama at cemetery. KK Sam dead. NLAGRA hit jackpot. Four more for Nana Shatawali. So that's it for the Daily Guide. Our attention now goes to the front page for the Daily Graphic newspaper. And President assures nation of enhanced protocol. Safety measures in place to protect students. Uh, wearing of masks now mandatory. Police to enforce directive. Active COVID-19 cases now at 7,652. Reopening of schools today, government deploys health personnel to institutions. So if we turn our attention to the back page of the daily graphic, Balgatanga Pumakom Road works progress steadily. Balgatanga Pumakom Road works progresses steadily. Right, so these are the congregation or the amalg amalgamation or the assemblage of newspapers before me today. In a couple of moments, we will be joined on the glass table by our guest for this morning. We'll be taking a quick short break. When we come back, the discussion or the conversation for the nation commences. Please stay, we will be right back. Okay, so um, okay, so we are continuing high.
welcome back into the studios on the day where our COVID-19 cases has inched up to 11,964 with um, the unfortunate death situation at 54. The recoveries are at, the recovery stands at 4,258. Uh, yes, 4,258, of course. Uh, we are mindful of the conversation the president had with us yesterday, and that will be key um, to the discussion with my guest. He is no other person than Padmo Ejipong, a member of the New Patriotic Party's communications team and an environmental analyst. Welcome to the show, my brother. Thank you. Patriotic Senhor. Oh, Jamiado. Baby, I said, I can't say, Rook or no bona would be a bit of a Jamias. Yeah, 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 but then Jamias. Good night, right? Uh, President Neboy, near Boncomo, about the 11th time, or yes, uh, since the COVID outbreak in the country. Now, initially, before we go into the, we'll take some excerpts from the President's um, um, address, but just before then, overall, then I will bring a word. Uh, um, address now. I did about a very important finding. President the Kashe Gana for you now. Say, Yadi, we say, when you be a and Yadi, a year and in Gracia, and a year be a was a view of BDC and a two being a big one or you bold enough. But one chamber can. What is the issue about it? What's the union who send you in times like this near Betty and once? Na ye be accepti ubi ya. Mpeni pini ya 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 na ye deadly no. Kofu fi se bi ya na ye associated with. Wako ye bi 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 ni wako nya. Inti no o ba bon ten kwa bikas wen ye bi ya. Na ye nko ofu unu HIV ba ako fro. Ubi ya ni mse unu ubi kodano ni bako ubi ya na ubi ya. Bikas wako ubi ya nya e si pe. Ubi ya si hey onu ubi ya koda. Inti no na stigmatization ya woho. Good news, eh? What yari we say when they say, it is a normal cold. Yeah. Kata achi ubi. Nini na e virus infection? Ubi ya kata na me betuna na ni pane bemia. Me me timi ya kata. Yes. Sa na COVID tia. Se ni pane ni na o bemia o na o e kasa ya no anye kabla. Onsu ubi timi enye bi. Enti no that part of a foot one o dema gana foot ni na. Me jidi se e adi a e bebwa amade we a ngofo e persevere. So, being a bean or this in when you be ye name nipper tits where we are see how many be a babbant. Gun ambassador, our work, Yuki, Papa who sank come up. When you be, you had to be two just a gun of winning as when you be. And name no cassa in the water. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, when you be. Prince Charles, our no, or I in view to me, dear Cunya, or I in view or English, I mean, when you be. But some of you women are paying women no more either at all. And you didn't know so being a beer or the busy. And I'm talking here about an apparent reference to say NDC will be and right to say media. President Cassia, no, no, we see your castle or we shake health minister speedy recovery now or yen a jumano and when ya ya yeni be. Hey, minister, no, so a chant run another pan and the ditches and some more. What could you know? I want to ask it. And then we will say, and turn our channel, and it is here. I'm saying, I saw say, or because it would not be any now on me. To me, Busa will be said, I hear find a minister in the cancer assembly, or bit me the achievement. I may add a website to be a minister in the cancer and answer audio voice. Be or so journalists be the same. I'm sitting to ask my working a year. A new panel, Cassa, no president about the cancer when you be. It means the president when he needs to come and catch them to win a bit. President about catch a gun of winning it. What's the journalist be say on any case? I know, I see win a bit. I mean, so Papa Nasa no catch a president, you know. And then the journalist never catch on any no no any minister no boys ni ati ni na obedi. So it tells you say people still have that stigmatization with him say once a year me political opponent no any bit no ni adi no hey. May they be making cases, mm -hmm. but why do you make case out of it? Right. Oh, it's right. you're careful. The way I, you perceive we are, you know. Now, you pay your bill. Almost when you have to bold enough. I think I can say, oh, my quiet test, my nephew. You say me coach if you, 
Right. So these are the first impressions of Padmo Ejipong on the president's 11th address to the state uh, to the nation. But of course, majority or the key parts of this conversation or the 11th address was centered on education and uh, schools, particularly tertiary institution in institutions reopening schools or resuming schools today um, I guess they are uh, they've been staggered the tertiary institutions second cycles institutions and then the basics the basic schools they've been um, staggered so um, in any case let's pay attention to the president on um, the first issue of people you know critiquing his or their thoughts of the nation to, first of all, open um, educational institutions. If we are ready, let's hear the president. From tomorrow, Monday 15th June, the last batch of institutions in this phase approach, our educational institutions, will begin to reopen with final year students in our tertiary colleges and universities returning to school to prepare for and take their exit examinations. As has been stated, final year senior high school SHS3 students together with SHS2 Go Track students will resume on 22nd June and final year junior high school, JHS3 students, the week after, on 29th June. The decision to include our schools in phase one of the easing of restrictions was taken advisedly. Some argue that we're putting the lives of our students, teachers, and non-teaching staff in danger by this reopening citing the examples of other countries who have done so and recorded spikes in their infection case counts. I've stated on several occasions that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to the resolution of this pandemic. We have our own unique situation in the country, and we have always taken that into account in dealing with this disease much as we are prepared to learn from the examples of others. Fellow Ghanaians, over the last... We truncate it um, in a bit. We'll come back to the president for him to continue. But what we've got was the timetable, the seeming timetable for schools to go back to uh, to resume academic work. But one thing that got my interest was where the president said, there's no one size that fits, um, you know, the problem. Our situation is unique, so we have to go by that, um, by our own standards. I think he, he, he laid the background issue of some countries reopening and um, realizing some infections. What do you make of, uh, is the president in, at a junction whether to go or whether to withdraw, no. or you think he's steadfast? Yeah. Ebimo Edigana Etoto Aman Afofo. Oka Obisio Italy for a BA school, but Kofoko school, no, Ebimo Nyebi. Oh, but Canada, ABI, you say, ain't you know, my MBA school. And I wash it. Arrangement of President Kawasana. I just schools in any year. You know, I was saying, I'm not trying social chat for promotional exams. I do more every one level, I call the other. Omo, and I yes, I'm not going to day. I'm going to go. University, your first years up to fourth year students. That is, of course, undergraduate your four years. Sir. Your master's students, your PhD students, sometimes some of the universities offer diploma courses. Some go for in Omoko school. That be. And the Ghana for NTSS and Yasser, 
Abana sorry no de ye suku for any teacher for a koto and so he be mo. So nebe a yari ano omun ko nyebi. So oh university now population of the university a ye biya say fifteen thousand students. Now we run all these year groups here, Maki Kenyo. And the on assumption, let's say, oh, about 2,000 of them being Fana year students, I say, Omunko school. Say, say. The facilities can contain that number. It's in a right, it says, a bit mere contain Omu. They are not Omunko. No Omunko to Omu and so No Omu. And mind you, Sanko for women, Omu Yangwara, at that level, Omu Yini. And to taking care of themselves, observing social distancing, or yeah, yeah, maybe any or yes, they know. Now, if you be a social park, I say, hey, we must we must exercise. Now, we must boost the immune system. And these are people who can take care of themselves. So all the government need to do is to make sure that other processes now, what's the government in a year and so on, like you like your fumigate your honor. Even Omo Omo, if they stay on campus, how are they going to be in the mm -hmm. rooms? It's interesting. It's interesting you mentioned that. And yeah. Tiyanko Tiye, their president, can yeah, on you know steps being taken by the government through the Ministry of Education um, to make sure that this resumption of school um, is properly done. Let's hear the president. Turn to school, government through the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service, has ensured that all tertiary institutions, public and private, have been disinfected. Universities, with their own hospitals and clinics, have been equipped with the necessary personal protective equipment and have isolation centers to deal with any positive cases. All other institutions, without their own clinics and hospitals, have been mapped to health facilities. There will be no mass gatherings and no sporting activities. Religious activities under the new protocols will be permitted. Social distancing and the wearing of face masks must become the norm on campus. To aid in this effort, a total of 600,000 face marks has been distributed to the tertiary institutions. This is to enable every student, teaching and non-teaching staff, to have three use reusable face masks. In addition to this, 1,700 Veronica buckets, 200,000 liters of hand sanitizers, 3,400 liters of liquid soap and 900 thermometer guns have been distributed. With the transportation and delivery of these items being overseen by the special logistics team of the government committee, chaired by the sagacious, experienced politician, the senior minister, Honorable Yao Safumafu, and is supervising the reopening of the school. Right. Welcome back into the studio. So we heard the words of the president on some of the directives or the hard um, issues that uh, the universities have to deal with. Uh, currently, the president is informing us that some measures have been taken, especially for the provision of uh, personal protective equipment and among other um, stuff to mitigate the spread of the disease on the school's campuses. Yeah. Uti na osi ye di Veronica Bucket echo. Di echo ye ni se se hall of residence lecture rooms ni adi ni na di bi ko si si on TV na sana ubi ra o lecture hall no. E ubi o ro on sa ape pa an sa an sa wako. Ubi enka o hall of residence ubi o ro on sa an sa wako. Ye di liquid soup a di ubi o ro on sa a kan bucket ni ho. E ni asa di sanitizers a sa a kan ho. It is only a binary firm with the wit me a year on campus. But so we tell on school for one year, one teacher for no say, Emma may Emma can ya sit na and she say, I see, see, ye be coming, sir. Obesha mask at our campus. It is one of campus who feel whole air call lecture 
Ufi will hold airport commercial area. Ufi will hold not taxi mark or another hall. Always make sure, sir, who protect your home with maximum. It's been sure, sir, sign to you when you are in a bash any education ministry, dear Bano. Say school for this so. School authorities now enforce many this one. I am not sure there being any problem, yeah. Because this is a very well thought through st uh, strategy. Fantastic. Right. So we'll be continuing the assessment of the 11th address uh, given by the president. But for those of you who are desirous of watching um, the dialogue on our social media handles, I know you're looking for it at Net2 TV. You can't find it at Oman FM. You can't find it. Please head to at Ken City Media Ghana and there you will find um, the social media then you find the social you find the social media streaming of the dialogue right you're back into the studio the show remains the dialogue and uh, my guest is Padmo at Japan Next, the president touched on the issue to deal with, you know, the case count and um, the data involving the case count and how um, we should treat the analysis of the data and not just going to town and being unintelligent about the data. If we are ready, let's listen to the president on the data analysis of the COVID-19 so far. Fellow Ghanaians, I have to address a matter which has to deal with our case count, especially in recent weeks, and which has given cause for anxiety. The increase in numbers indicates that the virus has spread and continues to spread. We have to bear in mind at all times that the more people we test for the virus, the more people we are likely to discover as positive and thus have the opportunity to isolate and treat them. If we do not test people for the virus, we will not find the persons who are positive, let alone isolate them from the population and treat them and prevent them from spreading the virus. For example, the total number of tests that we have conducted in Ghana with a population of 31 million 254,331 is one of the highest on the African continent. Furthermore, many countries in the world, including several of the developed economies, are not implementing a policy of enhanced contact tracing. And this makes our data qualitatively different and more effective in the fight against COVID-19. Indeed, the success of our tracing, testing, and treating will lead, in the end, to a reduction in the number of cases. That is what we're working for. Right. So that was the president's thoughts or his analysis on the case count um, currently as we have this. What, what do you make of um, the president's well, assertion? Well, Minya, it probably be again at the other African countries at the top, Ghana. So, say, say Ghana and Emma COVID, of course, so Africa, the numbers are not quite in the course. But my main enkai a tear for say, Oko Krobit is a Burundi soa. Now, Burundi and record cases of COVID said the Ghana is as simple as record, you know. But until last week, Omulusu, Omu President, Obe Friso. Omulusu ni mame, afi payphone bisha se ya ya no. Then they realize say eh ni ya ya ni ya mpao. Because such countries they were not testing, they were not actually believing say adianeti sa. Okay. Another country in Tanzania, where Omo President Babu and Tembe can say oh, offer samples free upon chi inyani ni apu ni ni ma huko testi ye ni ese upon chi no eh positive. Popo, a eh, positive in the onjini, sadly, and be beside Koso. But meanwhile, a nipa, a woo, Tanzania, yes, you, Anajon, a dear Nikum. 
But Ghana decided say no. Yeah, they ain't now. Now yeah, yeah, naive. Yeah, yeah, ignorant of what is happening. Yeah, you sad yeah, 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 ampa. And then now, Basha, Oba Africa, yes, South Africa, Nigeria, then Ghana. Numbers not for Ghana, air costro. But for Ghana, death rate, let to say. Now, if I compare all the other countries, no more there. Yes, numbers no. It's just that you know, be more here, you may know, show more death rate. So it turns to say, say, Omo, air testing, go for baby, say the Ghana, air test here. Omo, be your numbers, ni baby, baby, cry, and management, no, a bit different. A year pass, say, you baby, I was to see. I never quite did be a mechanic, say, yeah, poo, yeah, poo, minia, COVID virus, no, waba, or near near betna. Okay, and then the reality. On a reality, on near betna, until, say, you be your vaccine beer. And now a drobia, yes, and yes, because when you become a normal home, but I don't just say MO, just so you know, a bit me about. Right? Your mouth, vaccine, vaccine, you say, you're the bone who buys and a bear whoop in your be, and just say, I read in your home. So, virus, no, dear Waba. But to say, cold, a wa, or boa, or coffee, virus, a person, or more. But when you be a non jazz, you will be a non jazz, a young chassis and quay or will now be. You better manage as how you are. Sana COVID net here. Enti na se se no sha and some kind of baby akoji na prevention. But we won't buy. We need be an chess we will know. You better me a show. We won't better because recovery rate you know. So far, nipa four thousand two hundred and fifty eight. Eni ni ebiya omu huato. Yeah. Eni den omu huato. It means a baby kwa swa uti mi edeshe two yari na se free uni pediyo. And you know, and you have the eh, who's so much now? And yet, sentence. And it's not. Send your numbers, I am even sure, say, Ghana, Osha, your population. And your age, your dia and son, your life expectancy, your dia. Ghana is one of the youngest countries, expectancy rates, you know, our form, about 59, 60 years. Whereas other countries, you know, if expectancy rate is 90, 85, near there. Ghana is around 60 years. So it means that your population, no, I will act more than, I will your body more. So your body will cry, your body will to me, and your body will be to me. And your body will be to me. Okay. And then, your body will be to me. So your body will be to me, and your body will be to me, because your body will be to me, and your body will be to me. And your body management is different from me. No, I'm running, you know, your body will be to me. All right. And the Ghana data, no, is, one of the best you can get so far because yeah, yeah extensive uh, tracing and testing. The more you test, the more it's likely to be in Nipa Umanyebi. Me Mitya say say, say man ko test ya. Me da wuse me ubiana me nibi. Debi ti me akan say o me she me fi me bom me hobi me do all the protocols so into me nibi. But the more na ebi ya ubi ni ebi na me nibi panu ko ding kita hobi. In Tinania, once young one young boy, young Kosho before, young Kosho before, not a dinipa, baby, ever. So I have come to believe in Pose. Numbers here, you win. Oh, back down a park genuinely, no, you're more than this 11,960. Because you're young, testy, you're young, testy, baby, now. And you're too for sale, and on the issue of the bomb, who buy bomb, who buy bomb, who buy, the president made a plea about the directives, how we should go about it. In fact, in about four regions, that includes the Greater Accra, the Ashanti, the Central, and the Western, it is mandatory to wear the face mask. I mean, the president said this. Can we listen to him um, on the issue of wearing face mask, which has become mandatory in? Some four regions, which includes the Greater Accra, the Ashanti, the Western, and the Central regions. And uh, let's hear Mr. President. Where the great majority of cases have been recorded, and in the Western and Central regions, where we're seeing an increase in infection cases, to continue to adhere strictly to the social distancing and enhanced hygiene protocols announced. With the doctors and scientists telling us that the virus is transmitted from human contact through talking, singing, coughing, and sneezing, 
which results in sending droplets of the virus from one person to another. Residents of these four regions, and indeed all Ghanaians, must remember that the wearing of masks is now mandatory. Leaving our homes without a face mask or face covering on is an offense. The police have been instructed to enforce this directive, which is the subject of an executive instrument. Let me repeat, our survival is in our own hands. If we are lax and inattentive, we will continue as his instructions or directives in certain regions. In fact, he said all Ghanaians, the face mask is now mandatory. Uh, where president was emphatic say now it's an offense mm -hmm. and the police mm -hmm. have been instructed. President Aka. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, the enforcement will be something different. Is it from the law enforcement side or from the citizen side or both? I'm talking about both. OK. I drove mm -hmm. from East Legon Hills to here. And my driver at me, but I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my It could be say be going to me and the president address me. I'm going to go to this is a mandatory. In the education, you know, how is it being done? President can say we. So say the rule now here, but I actually say say one she face mask. President say police knew who are with me too a offense. Ah, a home a you because so one she a no one who are put who at risk. Yeah. Who put other Ghanaians also at risk? Right. And I dey back on so me on say be brina me who so much no smart no. At that woman no. But education and yet, Ghana, most of uh, other uh, institutions or other countries, Oka Ghana be be asati only maska won't mean some offices, not even just public places in Ghana. Even some private offices only be a won't mean exactly. President, I can't to say so. PF you fee after new permaco be being quite there making sure say wash a mask. Enforcement ni hear me. What can we by say? Education because so not police for the difficulty will be do we have the police personnel to actually monitor and enforce this? I would say yes. So if one police person is to five thousand Ghanaians or thirty thousand Ghanaians, that's how police need to make sure out of the thirty no move five for class home share mass near a offense near prosecute you. My officer the other 29,000 and something, or would they misbehave? At least, at least in the beginning, no. if police for your vigilance, yeah. and you say, if you are not more chill, they do work. The warning, a, a for yeah. yes. So the warning, so the warning. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, believe you said, the more the police are vigilant, and you say, almost more refi, and then they themselves will not be adhering to that directive. But because if you are MTTD personnel, and you are standing by the road checking, I mean, the the papers of the car. You can as well check the occupants of the car I, whether they are hide their face I, mask or not. I even think that mm. even now, sir, MTT the forbid me uncle rule said that they should not be checking those things. Those they should rather focus their attention on citizens. Right. I mean, road now. What could you say? What could check it? Can you pan in them? When you pan in them, what? Almost state at the same. Are they following the instruction that the president has given? Mm -hmm. It's not just about the car, 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 car. So, any pan kwa unu ya car di insurance. Eh, they are with me akucha. But oh, boni pan ho buying. 
o ma nipa na ya we se ya ye bia ba nti wose nyina ye bo e ho ban nti ya best police for no now president the woman to president aka o se is an offense it is a police ni hu a obeti mi kra a chew and the police for and shall say no more so much education or anchor so right and any penny on the tea president so cassandra a jb of you are no pay one to was sorry on them a juna hey and now tea president cassandra um pastor debbie okay and rabba says he has a who people was our share it can coffee no copy and now shop no to be never to our idea so side education we are also within the course of this week ever go but that this week, free at the B, Betunga, a chuma. People will not have the men should be there. Of course. What do you mean that the president has I want? Because by then, education and course, I'm will be at to organ as a who pium qua dia show no smash. Fantastic. Right. You are still watching the dialogue right here on your favorite station, Net 2 Television. Um, of course, we are streaming on our social media handle at Kent City Media. We are currently streaming at that um, social media handle. So for those of you who are expecting to see um, the dialogue stream at Net 2 TV GH or at Oman FM GA, we apologize for our inability to stream on those handles. Just head straight to at Kent City Media G. Age and we thank you very much. At the appropriate time, we'll activate the phone lines where we get interactive with you, our cherished viewer out there. The next issue can be found. Um, the next issue or the topic for discussion may be found on page 14 of the Ghanaian Times with a headline that reads: One million dead people still on electoral roll. Jean Mensa. Okay, so let me just take, um, if you can see, a pot shot of the headline I'm talking about. So it's under, you see, it's a Bernard Bengan story which reads, one million dead people still on electoral roll. So let's see what the story says. The chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Jean Mensa, has said there are, there are names of more than one million dead people still on the country's electoral roll. This, according to her, could create room for manipulation. As a result, all the necessary steps must be taken to ensure that names that were not supposed to be on the register were removed. Mrs. Manson disclosed this to the leadership of the Trade Union Congress at a public forum last week, Friday, in Accra. The forum was organized by the TUC in collaboration with the Frederick Herbert Foundation, a non-governmental organization. Right. Right. So if I jump a few sentences and continue, it says, Mrs. Mensa explained that the compilation of a new register remained the surest way of delivering a free, transparent, and credible election. She said following the acquisition of the new biometric voters' machines, experts advised against using the existing system in managing the biometric data, since doing so could, could lead to le losing biometric information of eligible voters so right um uh, mr padmore they are easy they can you and the question uh, maybe sir is you know uh, mm. how were they able to identify the one million dead people very good question yeah a, a, mm. a, a question that uh, i am just asking yeah because now you said the old register no i was a so be a be as a mini be a war make a electoral commission so I am a bit uh, with the number uh, okay so within the last eight years or so mm -hmm. I uh, register not now about one million people on the register uh, uh, and maybe but I did back what okay yeah me if you say gonna fool you know if what she's saying you know sign it said yeah then support my men on a register on you know and it's a and if you are not, you're the two abano. I was said data in the area that church will be a dint away data in the machine. I had a quarter ban in the it data no a bell link with machine. It is all quite okay. Near who didn't say a why be be a now do all can say some fidiana data no a corresponding to a near the two abano. Same fidiano either I obsolete. Or oh, because your uh, data no, and what baby near the internet, intimate identifying ye. 
or so be why the fingerprint to cry those times a registration so they be a near back capture the fingerprint where you and two of us cry in any year and this is a say no new machines now no more person can you name for data no a metal so no so who could find new one no that's also who could find data number two new one this one because of these challenges you know migrating the data one we have more problems say we about 15 million voters i want we have been rolling here you know not about the about 13.5 million yeah but now 1.5 yeah and you can imagine process i will go to abba now call you know yes i would you need register him are they are oh yeah my great yeah good new system no difficult here a buy and so unfortunately you didn't have my office and they feel the same Apart from sa a dim be a best she ma Supreme Court ruling said there be a new so move most he said in a film now and the credibility seven by no this challenge is so so any other in tea now see a koto yeko yepe new software I bet one media to a banner not data no migration near the beha new 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 movie forward what is wrong new new right of course Right. It's yeah, yeah, mm. new uh, machines, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah, requirement. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, yeah, the new idea, the new fan support, you know. I'm here, Ghana, dear. The register will never be for Jane Mensa. Yeah, yeah, dear. Or to be Jane Mensa, you are another commissioner will come. Mm. He, he or she will have to work with it. Mm. And the young government person will come to say, I see, say, a register now. A young people for property. A Jane Mensa property. What do you want to say? Meanwhile, uh, these same people who, I know, we can't say Ghana for you know, I said the Electoral Commission has its independence to work. These same people in the court, court, I can catch the Supreme Court to say, you have 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 to say, and you have to say, 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 you so more much at him say emra and more more quite into no woman cause no money what is your problem right and now the issue of matters almost say eh, the ec should be prepared for a barrage of lawsuit court cases near the the other man so say a court maybe at 20 or 21st so supreme court eh, will really back who you pay near the full floor court near the full floor court what do you think you are doing i also will have gana for yeah, answer in the process no they be i made it at go by example mm. A um, mass Supreme Court case in the course about the legitimacy of John Mahama's presidency, 2013. Mm. And I told you, I mean, say, and Ghana Nibia Betia says, in as much, say, all the judges felt that, yes, indeed, something went wrong. But in their ruling, they took into consideration the supreme interest of the decision and its effect mm -hmm. on Ghanaians and Ghana as a whole. Mm -hmm. It is our time now. So, we have one thing because there be some of the processes you know, were flawed. And you know, you know, you have to be one. I think you have to be a person who is 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 a person Sebi, I'm telling you, the only way it will get to a point, the Supreme Court will look at the interests of Ghana. Say, if we want credible register, what do we do? Okay, there has been an earlier ruling. Say, we know issues were wrong. Yeah, now, you know, the bigger interest of Ghana. Say, you register now, and you are here. Interest of Bebwa Ghana, and I'm telling you, say 2020, you are new register. Let's assume you are new register. NDC, God forbid, but NDC comes to power 2021. Mm -hmm. Definitely, NDC will still do a new register because we can't take this same register going into the future. Right. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. So then, why don't we do it now? No. Now, arguments now, you raise this and say, um, the EC may have. On many reasons. Now the consultation process no, well, is not enough. And see, um, this is for me. Uh, this is the initiation 
of consultation, consultative meetings, especially with the TUC, say, to say National House of Chiefs, any other group in Zviya Kase, they want to meet with the EC. Yeah. Even Parliament is waiting for its time with the EC to get all these um, issues out of the out of the way. Is this the beginning of the consultative process? In, in your no, opinion, what do you mean? I, I believe, mm -hmm. sir, consultation or a cost of credit. Oh, for real. For real. My mom did not be a feather of the National House of Chiefs. She said, to be a feather on Twaba. So, to be. Or Twaba or Ghana. Or Twaba on Tuma, a particular a party. I don't know which party, but or Twaba. He votes for a party, he votes for a president. Mm -hmm. Now, that party he votes for, is that party not represented on the EC sci fi committee? Mm -hmm. And say, if consultation costs at the party level, maybe mm MPP. -hmm. So, if my general secretary or Yababia Samoa, who represents the party on IPAC, goes to an IPAC meeting mm -hmm. and decision is taken, me a MPP, it binds on me. Me in Kasa Yababia Samoa, now could be MPP. It may as individual, he's in some moments more match me. So the consultation had already gone. Mm. What I agree is that NDC raises yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is what these bodies want to understand. Okay. But it is not just on the work the EC want to do. They just want to understand. They and some NDC for no ekikano. It is some NDC for no ekikano. To say, okay, they are some na randi ekikano. And there could be some randi why should I be the one uh -huh. to tell you what so, to write? So NDC for no mm -hmm. make accusation against the EC. No? Mm -hmm. And then they want to oh, say, oh, and some NDC for no can obey to me, I ban one bit to you, I try a new, said you more can sign it here and I just sign it here. And Obi Ogana had been him say, NDC, it's just being malicious. I can't bonnet any, I can't throw who that has some no more. Well, on the 30th, mm -hmm. my own started registration. NDC chairman and any executive will be the first people to go and queue to register. Mm, because they say, you name some better on the quack register and uh, uh, or register. They are mixed signals coming what, from their past. Well, reg so NDC for any national moon register or Ghana. Mm -hmm. Now, some member for Japan, Ghana, Nibia, so on register. Now, men who are making a register near G2 say, and no need the voter register of Ghana. And then it was something from a court member. May he president of Ghana. May he be parliament. It is only the only register. They should stay aside. But NDC, it's a lie. NDC, ah, and then NDC can't find national identification uh, card. Oh, okay. um, see, oh, my mom got phone call register. More behind, yes, say, oh, boycott him. Mm. And the NDC, ni been at parliamentary only national ID card. NDC, ni been at your head office, party head officer, only national ID card. National ID card, they for MPP phone call. But wouldn't it be against? their own aspirations it will go against mm -hmm. no, that because is why you see I, a confusion uh, among, among, among them say should we register or sh shouldn't we so Omar register mm. a good news mommy as mpp -ni. about a good democracy news, in no Ghana. no a good news man will be to say cpp -ni because they also fancy their chances of winning the elections okay right mm. but some year and this year who can answer nice a word to money then the American said, "Tell me, in 2016, you can say MBP is going a new register. MBP for you can say you new register. You won't go to other. But you know what MPP did? Because 2013, the Supreme Court really said elections. You are winning the court. You are winning elections with polling station. MPP decided to obey the judgment of polling station." And and no one can buy now. May expect to say NDC for us. I say you know what I say. Police station, your bed day. Now your presence, I felt to police station. Now presence, by felt to police station. This is how we make sure say we call for true body war. They are there at the police station. I want you to talk Register a new president. Register a new parliamentarian. And yeah 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 yeah. The police station one I hear what you did. No, yeah yeah. Better to be a president. Right. And you say, mobilize them and for a polling station. Why? Why? And I got a highway. Or to the polling station, and they be one or two. But near the be a new register, we call so we could train the DIA. So we need passport and national ID card in T. We need to be a way area because I need pass mercy. I had what in the field in the TNT at the polling station. Especially when you go to the hinterlands, Kakana, where within one village, I in your polling station. 
You need to be our village. Yo. It's our national ID card, only passport. Yo. We know them in the village. Right. They can write their names. So what are they talking about? Mm. Okay. What are they talking about? All right. Okay, so it's, it's good to hear your um, take on the EC and its preparation. I thought the stakeholder engagement they are doing currently, it's okay. But I don't know whether it will continue. This will be a series of engagements I think with... Whoever yeah. wants to meet the EC, EC, and I know the EC is willing, mm -hmm. because Omo Communications di Director or Public Relations uh, Personal, mm -hmm. the lady has been going on radio, trying to educate Ghana for. An NGO facilitated this process with yes. TUC. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm sure, sir, my American say, you know, say TUC ni be obi to know without her. They will understand, say, ah, some of my American. Mm. It's a okay. I mean, and, and I can understand NDC because every opposition party will make noise about the electoral process. Definitely. Because or they buana a fancy the chances. It will change the Lusukra. Now they are working on the supporters to say, "Mo who register no mu ye en na mi elusu." But they don't want their supporters to know their incompetence in losing the election. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. That is what they do, mm. and NDC does it very well. Mm. Even 2016, I know mu elusu. No, they went out to say they were leading, and the victory of the NDC is coming again. They were in a comfortable lead. Why? Because no person made two mungo for three. Then they find a flimsy excuse. Now, almost I sent them. It's almost lose, which they know they will lose. Then, Omo Kagasa, Yankasa, Omo Kwe Register, Omo Kwe Register, Omo Kwe Register. That is next, their game plan. All right. In commonity, in commonity, does on air then. So, but I'm come to ask you um, this Saturday, MPP, you are heading to the polls. Mm. What do you make of. Um, the date and the impending polls by the NPP, because already it looks like there are some tender storms blowing over the party in terms of mm. independent, in terms of, um, how do you call it, going unopposed and all those things. Briefly, before we go for a break and come back again. Last minute, I can say, say, MP, no parliament, the current parliamentary sitting in Iman. Nasa or call for re election, ne juma why should speak for the person. Okay. Right. I might make me am constituency Madina Yem Patron. Mm-hmm. It isn't like say na ye nyan ko for umbe contest on a bum boniface. I'm sure say nipa baby one um fish um ya number contest. But oh sha baby and near wo and on abu boniface by or bad G C T no, and baby I says ya organize ye one qua. I mean, Uba, you will not even dare and go and waste your money, sir, because baby, I need a while to me about year corner. Mm. We are moving somewhere. Tina Juma Akasaman. He is going unopposed. Right? Not that people don't be to me contest. No. There are so many people are not meeting me because 2015, there were about five or six of them in a mm. contest. You know. So we still have people who so more interested in Kumbe, but Osha, the Juma, you sit back and say he deserves. Another term like Nana deserving another term, mm -hmm. a good work deserve another term. Oma, Oma Juma, a Yiwa Hono, those people now are trying to look for ways to consolidate the seat. And when I basa one here now, the divisions about party, mm -hmm. and maybe it's not say the national leadership, the constituency, leader, the regional leadership should be bold enough and throw the challenge open. If people want to contest people, let them feel free and go and contest. Right. Why would you want to prevent somebody? Say, me mm. my mm. Deputy Minister of Energy. Yeah. He's going on opposed in the constituency. Mm. Why? Because Nejuma has so many. It is Obi or Nasa the constituents. And no be so bear. Why do you want to still force and go and protect them? Protect for what? Protect for what? Me no can say. Under that same protection rule, who mm. call new job in South? Your Dr. Marcus B. Mm -hmm. the major, major, the, the chairperson of the Finance Committee yeah. in Parliament. He's been contested. Mm -hmm. Healthy competition. Obiyan Soyan can say, "Biya, ni nimdiye en najuno finance hunti no 
it's been allowed mm. for Belfield to go and contest him. Okay. They contested in 2016. They are contesting again. Though my lineals go to Dr. Sibe Yeboah. I mean, very, okay. Uh, he, That's very interesting. Yeah. We'll come back. When we come back from the break, we'll tell us who you think will fall short and those of you, <laughs> on those of those who you think will make it through to the ballot paper come December 7th. So we are going to take a quick short break. When we come back, issues to do with the MPP primaries will be our menu. Um, until then, don't go nowhere. Please stay tuned. We will be right back. Come back into the studios. This is still the dialogue with me, Isaac Clotier. And my guest remains Padmore Ejipon. We've been talking. The 11th presidential address being undertaken by government. Uh, we've also just. Role. We are currently on the new patriotic parties in pending primaries that's upcoming this weekend. So I'll just put um, Padmore to the wall and ask him who, in his opinion, thinks will make it and who, in his opinion, things will fall down by the wayside. But in a couple of moments, we'll be activating the phone line 0240-550-899 and we will take your opinion, comments, views on what we've been discussing. You can send your messages via the same number on our WhatsApp um, platform. 
to send your messages if you are finding it difficult to reach us via our phone lines. Alternatively, our social media handles are still active at sorry uh, yes at ken city media ghana at ten city media ghana where you can watch a live stream of the show and of course post your comments and um mr japan yeah one i will do who say hmm, he may hmm. fall a victim <laughs> to the delegates i know or, or your yeah, man will say Me. back to parliament yes my cancer new job in south mm -hmm. Befi is an amazing guy right yeah he's he's, he's good me freeze those small or any juma or he be be a come on. But Osha, what uh, Doctor Sibi Ebua within the time in Parliament, in the way to push the party uh, agenda, the financial, the man, the of course, the idea. I will, I will, I will tilt towards uh, Marcus Ebua Malone. Yeah, okay. I mean he's again he's a Katangi, he's my fellow brother, mm -hmm. so obviously. I will, I will, I will go but another the, area is Akwetia. Akwetia seems an interesting playground. Akwetia, Akwetia <laughs> looks interesting because people mm. felt to say, I must say, a Jeffrey, Baba Jama, Honondia, then let us she deserves another term. But anyone anyway, can say, mm. So we are MPA, where Juma should be able to speak for you. For you, okay. Right? Right. There is this young gentleman who is part of the communications. Uh, Process within the MPP. Mm. Very fantastic guy, Kumi. Mm. Mm. And let's see how Kumi. Yeah. I mean, he's a regular I, here too. Oh, yeah. Mm. What, what I believe is that where we are moving, mm. NPP, and now is the time, need to now build the crop of young who will fit into the old when they are exiting. Okay. That is my belief now, if you ask me. And and it will always be a stance I will take. Okay. So I believe, sir, Honorable Chairman Samo, Ambrose Derimo, uh, Nana, His Excellency, Honorable Senior Minister Mo, they are at a place that their generation is fading. Then the Damboche, the Matthew Boku Prempers still stand in the middle. But we need to build that one down. Who will fill in? When the old exits. Okay. And that is why I would wish. I mean, like if successive somebody like, structures. Right. Yes, mm. per, per, per succession mm. uh, Plan. planning, I would wish if people like Kumi mm. get the opportunity to okay. enter parliament now. Right. So that that face of will still be there. And could do maybe a generation, be a failed parliament, you know, now a whole load exit with mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge be mm -hmm. it will be at the disadvantage of the party. Mm -hmm. So yinya sa level no ma ebeboa. So for there, though ama eyoba, we need to promote gender, but for the party and its succession, you I will go for it. How community. about um a Sikuma or Dobin? Or Dobin Brakwa. PC appeal for his uh, former. I know the NPP uh, 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 wants to see the back of Atu forcing as quickly as possible. No, Atu forcing is at Sikuma. Sikuma. Ke Jumako. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. He's at right, uh, right, yeah. Jumako. But Banasco is at Sikuma Odobin Brakwa. Right. That is the AOB constituency. Banasco has been. I mean, he's been on fire for the MPP. There's no doubt. Mm. Propagating the policies of a the party. A proper true foot soldier. A proper true a, a representation of who a foot soldier is. Mm. Getting down, knowing people, rising from the party from low up. So, yes, we have a sitting MP, but again, there, I will also be biased and go for Banasco. Oh, okay. I'll okay. be biased and, and, and treat the, the delegates mm. to. Because co parliament here and Makano is a generational thing. Mm. So these people will have the eye and then the support of their seniors okay. in building them up. Yeah. It's in trying to build their capacity, you know, a lot of things, a lot of resources, they will mm. get them pushed back to their constituencies. So but if one do our level now, that energy that's it to push for their constituents, you know. Mm. Anyhow, Right. And when I don't know baby to say Asante Achim Central. Okay, so now let me just bring in the views of our cherished viewers into the program. This is where we interact. So 0240-550-899. The phone lines are now activated and uh, we will be taking your calls. 
But the endorsement views by our guest, Padma Ejipon, remains his. We at NETU, we are not taking sides in any part of the competitive selection being undertaken by the new patriotic party come this week. Who do we have on the line? Do we have our first caller this morning? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Very good morning, my brother. Can I have your name and where you are calling from? I'm Patrick Trevi Koforigia. Okay. I am being the Vice Assemblyman. Vice Assemblyman. Now, I'm talking about something about the Moody. Okay. Now, dear. I'm Vice Assemblyman Trevi Koforigia. Okay, because I'm a member of the Labuja Kumi. I'm a member of the Labuja Kumi. I'm a member of the Labuja Kumi. Okay, then. Every name. I'm a member of New Japan, Kofuja, Honorable Marco or Tribeti. Because this Fadet you two, say a two of us. Honorable Marco or Tribeti, I'm for more than one fifty votes. And Cat Dr. Mark at the Bois, the politics, Miss Sonita. What a minute here down. I didn't turn up at the scene. I came up for Tribeti. I can use up the empty department. I can go. I can go. Okay. Okay. At the first time, I'll be two results <laughs> new again. <laughs> right, 0240-550-899 remains the number to interact with in the studio. We are still taking your calls. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Mibra. Can we have your name and where you are calling from? I'm calling from Akosobo. Pacho Efreo saying. Hello? Pacho Efreo saying. Okay, then I will speak. Let's hear you. Yeah, if I need to tell you, the I need to tell you, I I Okay, yeah, 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 papa and Tim Pacho. I don't be casting and I'm so afraid you jump your pacho. Sorry about that. Okay, so, um, just stand properly so that we can take hear you properly. We'll go back to the phone lines and pick about two or three more calls and bring down the interactive session to a uh, close. Zero two four zero five five zero eight nine nine. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello, good morning, bruh. Good morning, morning. But so, because of you, Madina, Madina, we choose this Saturday state. Bro, saying? I'm a little bit crazy. All right, crazy. Don't know what I'm doing, so I'm not paying. The way I can reach it, I'm a little bit crazy. I'm a little bit crazy. I'm a little bit crazy. So it looks like uh, the Adenta seat is another hot. It's hotly it's contested. It's hotly contested, area. but yeah. obviously I'll, I'll, I'll go for you. Okay. Because Bibia Koso, Project Koso, it is all the yaw, air call for the main campaigner. Why ye Bibi Abu Abu Timi Asele? Okay. Or, let's, you know, it's easier to still keep you out. Let's take our final caller for the morning and then we'll come back to you. Hello, good morning. 0240550899. You are our last caller this morning. Hello? Hello? Okay, I think um, we've lost our final caller. So this is where we bring down the curtains 
of interaction or interactivity between us and our cherished viewer. We'll be going straight through the uh, window of birthdays felicitations to check who and who are those celebrating their great day today. Right, so let's now head to the happy birthday window. And we have Abna Dededo. And this is coming from Nanama, a friend of yours from Kufuidia. And they're wishing you um, a happy birthday right here on the Dialogue at Netu Television. So Nanama, enjoy the best of the day. Go, sorry, uh, Abna Dededo, enjoy the best of the day. Seems like a terrific Monday morning. Next is Daddy, o Daddy Opanka, of course. This is the hip life musician um, who, who brought up um, uh, quite a couple of songs which were quite um, interesting. Well, today is his birthday, and from us, um, from the dialogue, and uh, too, we wish you a happy birthday, Daddy Opanka. Next is Ice Cube. Of course, the American rapper turned actor. I think um, he was a act. He was a rapper first with the N.W.A. That included Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, and the rest. Easy E for those of you who remember. And of course, he's done the. He's done the. Uh, he's done the um, Friday series. Of course, Do that movie Friday Part One, Part Two, Part Three. Right, so this is where we bring down the curtains on the interactive, um, sorry, the birthday felicitations segment where we saw those people celebrating their birthday. So, um, yeah, my brother, as you conclude on the NPP, I wanted to the rapture. That, yes, Asante Achim. Mm -hmm. uh, now, it's so clear, say, the people of Asante Achim are calling for change. Okay. Because na, not for South, because as anti No, 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 no. I'm talking about Central. Now, 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 we must say, so more in your in society. But fortunately, no, there was this young guy, fantastic, okay. very young guy. I mean, right. who was my junior at the secondary school. Things have few or no by, but he has done so well in the MPP. Uboni din se siya ubi bio MPP from executive to the last full soldier. Mm -hmm. knows what this gentleman and why he's standing he, his and he's now the, gone in okay based on the appeal that was he received to come and contest why, why? Attention. he's called kufi of Usun cancer okay. I don't wanna, uh, the, the, the food soldiers president and then the last one i would do will be for bantama okay where we know the deputy chief of staff is going to contest with for chairman who speaks for the government on finance obviously obviously as it happened to Kukufu and Ochem. If they are to go by that, then I expect a sense to carry the day. Okay, right. So this is where the um, conversation for the nation will be coming to um, a closure. Um, happy birthday extensions goes to the deputy uh, minister for, sorry, the minister for Zongo development, of course, Mustafa Hamid. And of course, tomorrow is a great day, not just in the life of a member of parliament for Asin Central, but for the whole Kent City media. Well, we will not unwrap what we have in store for you. Just make a date with all our media outlets, starting from Oman FM, Ash FM, the 2TV, all our social media handles. It will be such a terrific and a fantastic um, day tomorrow, the 16th day of June. Mark it in your diary. Right, this is where we bring down the curtain on um, the conversation for the nation, the dialogue, and it's been a wonderful pleasure to have had um, Bafo um, Ijipon in the studio with me. He's a member of the NPP communications team and an environmentalist or an env environmental analyst. Yadase. Right, just before we go, please, you know that when the national agenda comes with Yawa Mufa, you don't have to go nowhere. Today is the same. So please stay tuned. Yawa Mufa will be coming your way with a look at the national agenda.